In this video, I will show you how to install and run Kali Linux on a USB drive with persistence. First, we need to open a web browser. Then you need to go to kali.org to download the latest version of Kali. Click on Downloads. Select Download Kali Linux and scroll to find the version that says live next to it. You have two versions depending on the architecture of your PC, if it is 64-bit or 32-bit. Here I have a 64-bit PC, so I'm downloading Kali Linux 64-bit live. Click on it to download. It will start downloading. While we are waiting for Kali Linux to download, we need to download a utility called Rufus. So we need to go to rufus.ie and scroll and download the portable version. Click on Rufus 3.9 portable or whatever the last version is. So Rufus has finished downloading and I previously downloaded the Kali Linux image. So I'll cancel this one and we'll work on the one that I downloaded already. So here you can click on open file. It will open Rufus. I'm not going to check for updates now for the sake of this video. When Rufus launches, it will automatically detect the USB drive that is in your laptop. So make sure that it is the USB drive that you are going to use to install Kali Linux because this installation will destroy all the data on the USB drive and it will install Kali Linux in it. So here I have a 128GB USB drive. You can use one as small as 8GB, not less than this because we are going to use persistence. Here we need to select the image that we downloaded earlier, Kali Linux live image. Click on it and click on open. And here you see a new option appears. It's called persistent partition size. You see here now it's zero for no persistence. So I'm going to slide this here until 10 gigabytes. So I'll have the persistent partition, which is 10 gigabyte, and the rest will be for Kali Linux. Now, depending on the size of your USB drive, if you have, for instance, an 8 gigabyte USB drive, you should select 4 gigabyte only. Keep the rest as it is. Don't change anything. And simply click on Start. Click on Yes and click on yes once again and it will start the imaging process now it might take from 10 to 15 minutes or even more depending on your laptop speed and depending if the usb is inserted in a 3.0 usb port here i have it inserted in 3.0 usb port so it should be fairly quick i'll pause this video and i'll come back when the operation finishes and we're back. The operation is almost finished. Now, when the status shows that it is ready, it means that Kali Linux is now installed on the USB drive with persistence. And we are ready to use it in any laptop to start from the USB drive. Let's go and try it on a laptop now. This is a laptop I'll be trying the USB on, and this is a USB. Let's insert the USB in the laptop and start the laptop. Now this is a Dell laptop so I need to press F12 when it's starting. And as you see I need to start from the USB drive. Hit on enter. And now that Kali Linux has started, go down to Live USB Persistence. Press enter. It's 
starting. As you see, it's starting. And here it is running and working. And if you want to connect to the Wi-Fi, you can click here and you see it's seeing all the Wi-Fi connections. So you can choose your Wi-Fi and connect to it. Let's connect to my Wi-Fi now. You see it's connected to the Wi-Fi. And to check the persistence, simply if we restart now and if it reconnects to the Wi-Fi, it means the persistence is working. But anyways, just to show you the persistence, I am going to create a folder here. Let's create a folder. And now we can restart and see if the persistence worked. And the first thing that you see is that the Wi-Fi is connected and the folder we created, it's here, Test Persistence. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Thank you all for watching.